Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Knight 3000. I'm here at work, killing these rounds as usual. It is currently 3.29 a.m. So officially this is, wow, this is Wednesday. Hey, hey, so I am off in the morning. As soon as I leave here, I am going home and I am going to relax my two days off. Anyway, I got a question for you guys out there. A friend of mine invited me to come over and visit Tokyo, Japan and stay for a little while. And all I have is a passport. I'm not trying to get a work visa or anything like that. I'm not trying to move to Japan. I just want to go visit. And my friend was telling me that just using a passport, what you can do is you can visit for 90 days or three months, but then after the 90 day period, you have to leave. And so my friend was telling me, well, what people normally do who do that situation, who are in that situation, is they go to Taiwan for about a week. They stay in Taiwan, and then they come back to Japan to visit for another three months or 90 days. Now, I know for a fact that you can do that because people have done that between the U.S. and Canada. I've actually met a couple of people while traveling who have done that. You know, a guy who's married to a Canadian citizen or his wife or her husband is a Canadian citizen or whatever, or living in Canada at that time, you know, and one person is staying in the States, they do that in order for them to be together. My question is, how often can you do this in Japan? I mean, is one time the limit? Or can you do it like, you know, two or three times in a row and end up staying for like a year? Even though I'm not really interested in staying for a year, my friend was telling me, well, it would be nice if I did stay over there for a year. That way I could get the full experience of what life is like in Japan. I'm not so sure you need a whole year to get the experience of what life is like in any other country, but hey, the offer is on the table. I may take it up, I may end up going. So my question is, how many times can you do that using just a passport? Can you, how many times can you go to Taiwan for a week and then come back into Japan before they tell you, no, you need to go back to your native country? In my case, that would be the US. My second question is, even though I'm gonna be staying with my friends, so that's gonna take care of, as far as the living expenses go, I'm still gonna to have to buy food, and I'm still gonna to have to pay for my own transportation. That means taking the train, since I'm not even sure if there are buses, I'm sure there's buses in Tokyo. Even though I've never seen any videos with buses, or people featuring like riding on buses, you see mostly trains. How often, or how much does it cost I'm, I'm pretty sure that Tokyo is one of the most expensive cities in the world, but how much is food, you know? Because I was thinking maybe 300 US a, mo you know, a month to pay for what I'm going to eat, or should I make it 320, 325, 350? I mean, I'm not a big guy. You know, at the moment I'm like 5'7", well I'm 5'7 exactly, and right now I'm about 135 pounds. So I'm not a big guy, but I do like to eat certain things, you know? But in this case, I was, like, I was really looking forward to trying Japanese food. So given the fact that I'm not a huge guy with a huge appetite, you know, I'm a three meal a you know, day guy, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not eating like 20 steaks, you know what I mean? I'm not eating like 20 eggs at a time and, you know, 20 steaks a month and things like that. So I was wondering what an average size guy would eat, would consume as far as food stuff every month living in Tokyo. Uh, how much would that cost in the US? Like I say, I was thinking about giving my friend like 300 bucks a month. But should I go up to 320, 325, 350? I'm not sure. And how much is it gonna cost me to travel around Tokyo to see the sights, how much would it cost for a, like a monthly pass on a train? 
let's put it that way. How much is a model? It, okay, first of all, is such a thing, does such a thing exist? Does Tokyo have, like, does the transit system have monthly passes or is it weekly passes? Is it, you know, every two weeks? I don't know, I've never been. So I'm, you know, trying to get as much information as possible before I make my final decision as to whether or not I should go. Uh, how much do all the passes? You know, can I get one for three months? Can I get one for one month? How, you know, if I get one for one month, is that like all, ex you know, all inclusive rides? Or is it just like certain rides? Is it certain days? Is it certain, you know, certain hours? I don't know. I mean, here in Chicago, we use something called the Ventra system, which got off to a pretty rocky start, to say the least. In a lot of cases, a lot of people feel that it may have cost our mayor his job, you know. But what you can do is you can put as much money as you want on it, and you ride two bucks every time you get on. And when you get on initially, you pay two dollars. And then for your second ride, I think it's like 50 cents or 25 cents. And then your third ride is another 25 cents. So all total, you end up paying something like three or 250 for three rides. Then after that, the process starts all over again. Your fourth ride is gonna go back to $2. And I was wondering, is it like that in Tokyo? Or is it completely different? Is it just, you know, you get on, you buy a monthly pass and you can ride unlimited? Or is there like a ride limit? Is it like, you know, premium hours? Or can you ride whenever you want? Can you like leave a club at like four in the morning or whenever clubs close in Tokyo or outside of Tokyo and get on the train, if the trains are still running, I'm not sure. I think I saw one video where some guy was talking about the train stopped running at 2, p 2 a.m. and the clubs don't close until four. So you end up with people just hanging out in the area until the trains start running again in the morning. If that's true, I'd like to know, even though I'm not much of a club goer, you know, I might step out every once in a while just to take in the local flavor, if you will. And knowing whether or not the trains are still running is probably going to be pretty important. So anybody with that knowledge, like I said, my questions are, how many times can you visit Japan in a row using just your passport? Can you leave for like a week and go to someplace like Taiwan and then come back? How many times can you do that in a row before the Japanese immigration tells you that you're not allowed back in, you have to go back to your own country instead of Taiwan or something? Second, how much am I going to pay every month for food? Should I give my friend $300 a month, $320, $325, $350? And third, how much is the transit system? You know, can I get a monthly pass? Can I get a three-month pass? What does that cover? You know, uh, is it unlimited rides? Is it limited rides? Uh, when does the train stop running? When do they start back again? Uh, everything else I'll just figure out once I get over there. You know, uh, as far as like what nightclubs are gonna cost to get into, what drinks are gonna cost, things like that. I'll figure that stuff out once I get there. But the things that are like crucial right now are whether or not how many times I can visit just on a regular passport, how much should I give my friend as far as, you know, what I'm going to consume as far as food stuff, and how am I going to get around in Japan? How am I going to get around Tokyo? Uh, because I'm not, even though my friend was talking about touring other places, you know, going out and visit some friends at the naval base, things like that, I'm sure that's like, you know, I'll, we'll figure that out when I get there. I'll figure that part out later. but. For now, I just want to know the basics. So if anybody out there you know, sees this video and you have that information, or you're living in Tokyo yourself, or you've lived in Tokyo recently, hit me up, comment, drop some knowledge on the brother, because right now I'm kind of up in the dark as to how I can do this. Like I say, I'm not trying to go on a student visa. I'm not trying to go on a work visa. I'm just going basically to have a good time. I'm going entirely for pleasure. No work, no school, just pleasure. I'm going as what they might say a tourist. 
Yeah, that, that sounds good. Instead of saying I'm going for pleasure, I'm going as a tourist. So anybody that can help me out, I really appreciate it. Drop some knowledge, comment. You can, you know, do it down below. Or you can video respond with whatever is best for you, whatever's most comfortable for you. And let me know what's going on. All right, let me know how much I'm gonna spend, how much I should spend, and what I can expect as far as the immigration system. Like I say, I'm not trying to, I don't think I need to be there for a whole year to get the full Japanese experience. I'm not trying to go for a year because that would be a long time to be without my job here. I'm not sure if they would even hold my job that long. I'm sure they wouldn't. So I'm not thinking about a year, but just in case, just in case I do get to a point where I just, I fall in love with the country and the people, I like to have that option on the table. All right? All right, I'm gonna cut this off right here. I appreciate it. I thank you in advance for watching the video and for responding. If you have some sort of knowledge about what I need, what I can expect, I appreciate it. All right, this is Sean. I'm gonna stop right here, sign off. Peace.